I am 39 weeks pregnant and five days. I am done being pregnant. I cannot wait to meet my baby. My body feels heavy. <laughs> like all of my lady bits just feel like heavy. Like there's so much pressure everywhere in my body. Um, so this week it's Thursday. I guess I'm 39 weeks and four days pregnant. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. 39 weeks, four days pregnant. Um, so this week I was on maternity leave. Thank goodness because the end of last week I was like so physically exhausted and mentally. Um, on Friday, like I think, I'm trying to remember, Thursday was a full day we had like our back to school night with the families, so I was there all day. Um, and then Tuesday and Wednesday were just like hard days for me. Um, but Friday was like an amazing day, like it was such a perfect day, like a perfect way to end um, my like time in the classroom until I go back in January. So that was really good. But like by Friday, no, by like Tuesday, I was so happy that I had like planned my leave to start a week before my due date because like physically I was done. I was like so, so done. Um, and so this week I'm feeling, I'm like, I feel it even more so in my body and I couldn't imagine like being at school. Like, I feel like it's, like, painful to walk sometimes. <laughs> Not all the time, but sometimes. Um, I try to walk because I'm trying to go into labor. I'm trying to do everything that they say, everything they say, to, like, get you into labor. It's not working, and I want my baby to come. I'm so tired of waiting for her, and I definitely feel done being pregnant. Um, so I feel like I lasted, you know, starting around, like, 38 and a half weeks. Like, I felt really, really good. Even... Like, throughout the day, sometimes I still feel good. <sighs> I'm done, though. Now I'm done. Um, I feel giant. This shirt is, like, not the best shirt to show her off, but, like... <sighs> I feel huge. I'm hot. <sighs> I'm heavy. Like, just feels heavy. I feel like she's low. She was never, like, really up in my ribs to start with, but... I'm noticing it's just like getting lower and lower and lower and I'm ready to meet her. Um, I'm tired. I, yeah, I'm just like feeling done. Um, I have more heartburn. I've been getting pretty regular Braxton Hicks. Um, I notice them more at nighttime and I'm every time I'm like, ooh, is it starting? <laughs> is it starting? No, it's not starting. I'm just hopeful. I'm just waiting to meet my baby. <laughs> I'm like so... Uh, I just want to meet my baby. Like I don't feel nervous about labor. I don't feel nervous about the birth. It's all going to be great. It's going to be beautiful. Um, I bought this like hypnobirthing class and I feel like um, it was like the positive birth company. And it was good information. It was like 50-ish dollars. Um... I don't know. It was like good information, but it was kind of like stuff that I already felt like I knew. Uh, I feel prepared. I feel like whatever's going to happen is going to happen. I just want my baby to come out healthy and safe. And yeah. But anyway, my husband liked the class. Um, it was just like an online one. So that was good. It was fine. I don't know. We'll see what happens when I'm actually in labor. Um, but I do feel calm. I do feel relaxed. I feel really excited about it. Um, and I'm glad that I don't have any, like, anxiety or fear, but I am just, like, so ready to get this process started. Um, just, like, so, so ready. And I can't imagine being pregnant for, like, another two weeks. Like, straight up cannot imagine. I don't know how my body, like, just, like, the amount of pressure I feel in my lady bits. <laughs> like, I cannot imagine two more weeks of this. I asked my husband, I was like, do you think it's just, like, go by depends right now? <laughs> like, I'm pretty close to, like, calling it quits, you know? Like, I don't even care if I make it to the bathroom one time. Like, I feel done. So far, so good. <sighs> okay. I was only talking for four minutes and I <laughs> needed to sit down. Um, what else? I'm not sleeping. Like, I sleep fine still, but it's definitely, like, harder. <sighs> like, I toss and turn a lot more, so it's harder to get comfortable. Um, my, so I still have, like, pretty, like, significant heartburn. Um, not every day, but, like, it happens regularly enough. Um, and I'm getting contractions, and they're 
not painful, but I can feel and see my stomach like getting really hard and it's pretty cool, but I don't think it's doing anything. Um, I had an appointment last week and they checked me finally. I thought they were gonna check me at my last appointment, they didn't. So they checked me at my, um, I don't even remember, I guess it was 38 weeks. I don't know, I have no idea. <laughs> they checked me and I was hoping for something, almost 39 weeks I guess, um, and I was like not dilated at all, so. I was a little disappointed. I was hoping for like a little something because it felt like I had like been feeling a lot of changes and nothing happened. So I don't think she's gonna be early. I mean, she's gonna be like on time, right? On time. I don't know. It's hard to wait. I um, they so my last appointment I was 39 weeks. The one before that they had told me that they have started inducing first time moms at 39 weeks. And I thought that was like so bizarre. I was like, why would you induce, like if everything's like going fine, why would you induce somebody? And they said, um, like the, there's like a new study that said like there's pretty, there's better outcomes for, I think it's the same for baby, but like better outcomes for mom. And I think they meant like lower C-section rates. Um, if you're induced at 39 weeks and I just said like, no, like I want to give my body a chance to like go into labor naturally, like I don't want any like extra intervention if it's not needed and if like baby's great then like let baby be but now that I'm almost 40 weeks um I understand <laughs> why people would want to get induced because like your body is like gets really tired you know it gets tired like you get anxious you want to meet your baby Ugh, I want to meet my baby so bad so we'll see what happens I don't know the only reason I'm scared, my mom, um, I have three older brothers, and my mom was saying that she was, like, two weeks late with all of her kids. And so I don't know if that's, like, hereditary, like, if your mom, you know, this happened to your mom, it's gonna happen to you also. But I, again, like, can't imagine being pregnant for another two weeks. Like, physically, like, I cannot imagine it. And I just feel like I'm on maternity leave. And this week was nice. Like, I've gotten a lot of stuff done around the house, which has been great. But like, just like being home and like not having a lot to do, I'm just like home waiting to meet my baby. That's not very fun. So I wanna have my baby. So I'm like using my maternity leave, like you know how it's supposed to be used um, because I'm gonna go back to school at the beginning of the at the beginning of the year in January after winter break. So it doesn't matter, like I'm not gonna take an extra couple of weeks if she comes late. Um, so I wanted to come so I can like see her and spend time with her. But um, with that being said, I get why people want to be induced, and I don't know, like, at what point in time I would consider being induced if baby is still healthy. Um, I, I don't know. I don't know. Like, well, I have an appointment on, today's Thursday, I have an appointment on Monday, so they'll check baby and hopefully check me again, see if I've dilated at all. Um, but, I don't know, like, I, I get going, like, a week late. I could handle that but two weeks I don't know it just seems like a long time and I worry about baby and just like if she's getting too big in there and if she's gonna be okay because I know you know if babies are in there too long there's like a higher risk of being stillborn and that's been something that has been I don't even want to say concern but just like this random thought in my mind that I want to avoid that at all cost um and so I don't know it's just we'll see we'll see what happens I really just hope I go into labor naturally very soon. I've been bouncing on my yoga ball. I love my yoga ball. Um, it's also really comfortable. Like, I love it. Um, when I get up after sitting for a little while, like, I notice the pressure. <laughs> like, standing up is like a weird sensation. Like, oh, is something gonna fall out of me? That's what it feels like. I'm not very tall and my belly is very large, so I don't know. I just want to be my baby. So, 30 nine weeks i'm almost like term i am term but i'm almost like at my due date i want my baby to come out now like i want to meet her a week ago i'm tired of waiting <sighs> but i guess she's cozy i just want her healthy and i cannot like wait to meet her sweet little face it's like 5 30 i woke up um at like 4 15 like with some cramping and I went to the bathroom and I had some bloody show, which is really exciting. And since then, it's like 5.30 right now, I've had um, some pretty regular oh, contractions and cramps. And so I think that I'm in labor. 
they're like coming every um they've been like really consistent they're coming every like five minutes from the jump not like a little here a little there they're getting like stronger but it's still not i don't know i think baby's coming today it's friday september 27th and our anniversary is tomorrow so i think she's coming today. it's like 11 30 and i've been having steady contractions for I don't know, since 4.30, 5 o'clock. Um, I took a nap earlier, I laid down, and when I laid down, my contractions like slowed way down. They came like every 10 minutes, um, but I was like waking up and like doing my timer thing, my whatever random app that I found. Um, I'm just listening to this music. I've been dancing. I feel like my contractions are more bearable when I'm dancing. I learned that about myself. Um, so I feel good, like, just at home. I don't feel like... I don't even know, this is the Taylor Swift song <laughs> it's right now. Um, I don't feel nervous still, like I feel fine. I talked to my mom a bunch today, my husband's home. He went to work for a little bit earlier. He's home now, because um, I told him to come back. <laughs> and so, as of right now, my contractions are like six or seven minutes apart, but they're still like 35, 40 seconds. So I'm just waiting at home, and um, I'll show you what's in my hospital bag in a little bit. Um, I'm gonna put some real clothes on another robe real clothes, like a sports bra and stretchy pants, but you know. Anyway, uh, yeah, so that's my update for now. I think today is a baby day. So it's September 27th. I've been having steady contractions for the past 12 hours. It's like five o'clock. Um, I, they're getting stronger, but they're still mostly bearable. Like I've had maybe three or four that were like, and then that was it. Um, I'm not going to the hospital yet. They're not lasting. They're like 40 seconds. I want them to be a little bit longer and a little closer together. And we're getting there. We're getting a little closer. So I think maybe like in the next like hour or two, go to the hospital, get checked, and I'm hoping like they don't tell me I'm just a one. I'm gonna be so, I don't wanna say disappointed, but I'll be a little disappointed. I'll be a lot disappointed. I want them to be like, you're at four, stay, we're admitting you. Great. Um, and if there are more, if I'm more than four, that's even better. Um, here's baby. Yeah, so I'm here. My parents are on their way over. And yeah, I was going to show you what I packed in my bag. And I don't even feel like it. I didn't put makeup on. A little something something. Um, my bags are just like basic stuff. I'll just do a quick little show you, but I'm not gonna unpack everything. So one bag is just like clothes. So I have stuff for the baby, um, like a swaddle, a couple of different onesie sizes. Um, I have some shorts for my husband and a pair of swim trunks, cause there's a tub. I have like a robe for me, sports bra, pajamas, the random stuff. Um, and then in here, I just have some like toiletries. I have a bag of like electronics or so iPad, chargers, snacks, toiletries, toothpaste, toothbrush, paper for the hospital. And then I'm also going to bring my breast pump. Um, um, Try using the breast pump earlier, and I just like wanted to see, you know, like how it worked. And I just felt like the suction was like really bad. And so. Um, based off of like no knowledge, <laughs> no knowledge at all. I don't know what it's supposed to be like, but it just like didn't feel very strong. And so I wanted to bring it to the hospital just to make sure um, I'm using it right because I mean, I don't plan to start pumping like right away, but like somewhat soon I plan to. So yeah, it's been, I've been talking for almost three minutes. I had a contraction maybe like five minutes ago. And so there'll probably be one coming. Um, I'm also getting some that are like half seeds. Like it feels like it's the start of one and then it fizzles out really fast. So <sighs> yeah, probably like an hour head to the hospital. Um, but besides that, like I'm still in good spirits and I just want my baby. I'm really excited. I still think today's the day, but I feel like we're also running out of time. So maybe tomorrow. It's our anniversary tomorrow. We'll see what happens. So we got here at like six. Maybe like yeah. six-ish, and then I waited in the room. They were like switching out the shifts um, until like 6:45, and then someone checked me after like being monitored for a while, and I was four centimeters, and I was really excited about it. Um, and then 
so we got to stay and then I was in a room um, I got the tub room and contractions are definitely like picking up but like I can breathe through it sometimes So I'm probably like six now, you think? It's so weird, like, it hurts, it hurts, and then like you snap out of it. It's like, all right, I'm fine. Um, so right now it's like 8.45, I've been here like two hours. And our anniversary is tomorrow, so I'm trying to pop her out tonight. We'll see, like they're coming a lot quicker and a lot stronger and closer together. So, I don't know where they're gonna check me again, but I think I'm like, gonna be significantly farther along I think excuse me um that's all for now I'm glad we waited for as long as we did to come to the hospital um I feel like it was perfect timing like my parents got to my house and we like chatted for like 20 minutes and then I was like uh, I think we need to go because my contractions started getting closer together um not like super painful but like bad period cramps so how do you feel babe this is the most exciting day of my life. Best day of my life right now. It's been a long time coming. Um, we've prayed for this little girl for so long and it's finally happening. So, we'll see you guys when she's here. All right, bye. So it's four o'clock, we had baby girl at 1.11 and I'm really proud of myself because I didn't want an epidural and I didn't get one and it really hurt. <laughs> so she's like three hours old, they got interrupted earlier, but the birth um, it hurt a lot. I we checked in like six ish, I can't remember, like six ish, maybe like seven. They checked me and I was a four. Um, and so we stayed and then my contractions were getting closer together and like more intense, but still like bearable. Um, and then they checked me again and I was like a six. That was like two hours later. Um, and the baby's heart rate was like kind of going down like sporadically. And also they tried like three different types of monitors on me. And I like was either moving too much or like it wasn't reading it. And so then they wanted to put a monitor on their scalp, um, but they had to bring my water for that. So they did that when I was like seven, seven meters. And then from there, um, I was like turned eight super fast and I was like concerned that the pain would be a lot worse and it was but like it was already bad because I was already in active labor um, and then they didn't check me again until I was like uh, I feel like I need to push and you just like get this crazy just urge to just bear <laughs> down um, so I was on all fours trying to push and then they told me to go on my side because her heart rate was messing up again so I went on my side and like pushed with my husband like holding my leg up for a little bit um and then they told me I needed to move again so I did that and during this time like I'm having contractions the whole time and it's like super uncomfortable um and the doctor came in and told me to deliver on my back which I was like <sighs> I didn't want that at all but it was fine and she came out um so like I had pushed the nurse said there was like six pushes total, like six like, uh, and then when the doctor told me to go on my back, I think I just pushed once, and he said like, keep going, keep going, keep going, so I kept pushing, kept pushing, kept pushing, and she came out in one foul swoop, um, and then my placenta came out super quick after, and I feel great, <laughs> like my body feels like totally fine I'm really proud of myself for not getting a patrol but I totally get where people are at the point where they're like nope <laughs> I'm done um, and so I was tried like breathing techniques and then it came to the point where I was just like in the zone just quiet breathing regular breathing in and out regular um, and I like tried to focus on the pain instead of like run from it 
and that seemed to help. And like my husband pushed on my back, and I like swayed my hips a little bit. Um, but she came out, and I am so happy. I had like high blood pressure at the when I first like got checked in, but I had it this whole pregnancy. Um, and she's perfect, and I feel really good. We tried nursing um, right when she was born, and she got like a little bit, but we're gonna try again soon. So I'm gonna um, swaddle her and. Um, check, change diaper, and wake her up and see what happens, but she's perfect, she's just so cute, and she has a lot of hair, and I love her, she's perfect, uh, but she just has really cute little toesies, you want to see little toes? She was seven pounds, and she's born on our five-year wedding anniversary. She's perfect. Oh, baby girl. Yeah. So, we're gonna wake her up and change her and try to nurse. How do you feel, Dad? Pretty good. Pretty good. Both, yeah. of, her, both <coughs> of our parents met her already. Um, yeah, I love her. So it's 9 o'clock on September 28th. Baby girl is still not even 24 hours old yet. Um, but she's so sweet. She just nursed for like 40 minutes. So I don't know like how much colostrum she got, but she definitely got some. And her latch is getting better, so that's really exciting. Um, and she's just perfect. Like, I love her. Today, we had like so many visitors. It's just so nice to like have people come and love on her. But um, I probably slept like two to three hours total like in spurts last night and then we've had like people come all day um, and I'm like getting tired right now. So my husband, um, his family came a little bit ago and his sister's in town from um, another city and so the, he went to the house like we, he wanted to show her the house and so they took a little trip over there and he went to go let, let the dogs out and stuff. Um, so he's over there now so it's just me and baby and it's her first time really like being alone together and it's just been like really nice so she had the chance to nurse and i haven't napped yet but i will nap soon um when my husband gets back and yeah i like being a mommy i love her she's the best um i feel really good like my body feels like <laughs> it did before i was pregnant like it doesn't feel like i don't have any like super bad cramping like i haven't taken any meds except um that for me a stool softener and i was like yes i will take that um but like i feel really good i took a shower earlier um like i said we had like lots of visitors and it was just like so nice like seeing everybody um and i love my little sweet baby girl um i forgot to mention yesterday like i like right after you give birth and like you deliver the placenta like placenta just came out super quick um but then like the nurse like presses on your stomach to like make sure you're not like having too much blood loss so that happens like every 15 minutes and then today like it happened this morning for like a little bit but i think they're done but like that part is super <laughs> uncomfortable um but i think that's done so, like my blood loss is like pretty good um my blood pressure is like back to normal baby girl will have like some um what's it called like screenings done later um i've gotten like food today like, i've eaten plenty um and so things are like moving along and so we'll go home probably like late tomorrow morning maybe like 10 or 11. um but i'll show you baby girl she's so sweet she's all bundled up just in my lap um so i haven't like walked much today like i've gone to the bathroom a couple of times and that's it so i've been like sitting all day so tomorrow will be nice to like go for a little walk um, but yeah, I'm feeling so good. I love my sweet baby girl and I feel so happy. So here she is. So sweet and so cute. I also have like one of those like onesies that are um, like sleeper style. Like they're just like stretchy on the bottom. And I like started to put it on her and then I was like, this seems really hard. Like, it seems scary to put clothes on her. So she hasn't worn clothes yet. She's just been in swaddles and various hats throughout her life. Um, but I guess, like, again, she's not even a day old. 
maybe I'll dress her tomorrow. I'm gonna have to to go home. But um, anyway, um, when I took a shower, I was like feeling like I packed the perfect amount of clothes, perfect amount of toiletries. Like I don't feel like I overpacked or underpacked. I'm tired. I'm gonna rest for a little bit um, and hopefully like sleep well. But they want me to wake her up every three hours to like feed her, make sure she's getting some colostrum. Um, so yeah, tomorrow they'll weigh her and let me know how she's doing on that. But she was eating seven pounds when she was born. Yeah, she's so cute. I can't believe she's mine. I love her. So that's all for now. So baby girl is... She was born yesterday morning. And it feels like forever ago. Like I don't remember what it was like before her. Um, she's sleeping. Last night was like kind of rough. I didn't sleep very well. My back hurts a ton. Like my shoulders hurt. My like low back is super achy. Um, so I definitely don't feel as good physically as I did yesterday. Um, yeah, but she's happy. She's getting cuter by the second. Um, like breastfeeding's going okay. Like sometimes she has a good latch, other times it's like not very good. Um, and I feel like there's like only like one position that's like working for us, which is like football hold. So I don't know. I need to, um, we're almost ready to go home. It's like 9 30. Um, I think we'll be able to go home by noon, but I need to like talk with the lactation. Um, consult and just see like what advice she has. Um, yeah, I'm just. Oh no. My back just hurts a lot. Like nothing else hurts except for my back, and my boobs are already um, like larger, <laughs> and it's like there's not even like real milk in there, and so that'll be an interesting transition like the next like couple of days. Um, but baby has like pooped probably like 10 times and she's peed a couple of times which is good uh, but there's just like so much meconium coming out of her little tiny body like how is it possible where is it coming from i'll show you her um and then i'll probably show you when we're getting ready to leave and pack up so cute here's baby girl monroe we're <laughs> <laughs> We're getting ready to go home. She's so cute. She's like um 36 hours old. And we're getting ready to go home. She just ate a little bit ago. And then we cuddled and now she's awake for a little bit. <laughs> I was just kissing all over her face. Her cute little feet. We're walking to the car with our sweet angel baby girl. First time outside in like two days and it feels good. We can go home. Yay. I'm 37 and a half weeks pregnant. I'm still feeling so good. That's the dog's kennel. <laughs> I'm still feeling so good. Um, baby is looking awesome. Um, at school, I'm able to like move around. I have a ton of energy. I'm not exhausted. Like, but I think she's coming. I had some cramping happen today. I've had like, kind of like Braxton Hicks where my like uterus gets super, super tight. But it doesn't happen very often. But like, I hope she's coming really soon. I hope like this weekend. It's Wednesday. I hope this weekend. I miss her. Like, I miss her. I don't even know her. And I miss her and I want to meet her. And I cannot wait to squeeze her. I love her so much already. That's all. Quick update. Feeling so good. Is labor starting? That'd be cool. Okay, bye. So 38 and a half weeks pregnant. Um, I've had some like Braxton Hicks happening. Um, I still feel baby moving. Not really like during the day. I'm like on my feet and just like moving around. I don't have like the mind space to like notice what's happening with her. But like when I sit down and then at nighttime, like I always feel her moving around. Um, but like some things that I'm noticing happening, like, like my, she feels lower. Um, I also like feel like um pressure like down low 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 um my boobs are kind of like getting sore again <sighs> i've had more heartburn i get i don't know i probably get a couple braxton hicks a day um and she feels like it feels like she feels hard in my belly like not just when i have a braxton hicks but like just regular it just feels hard so I don't know, I wanted to come out. I'm just waiting. Hopefully soon.